Hey, good to see good you. To see you For a thousand dollars and a signature, Asa Hutchinson is on the ballot in New Hampshire, becoming the first Republican with a national profile to officially file for the first in the nation primary. After missing the cut from the last debate stage, Hutchinson is counting on Granite Staters to give his candidacy a fair shake. You just can't get ahead of New Hampshire and their decision-making process. So let the process work out and don't short-circuit it. But that process is under siege. For the first time in more than 50 years, a sitting president will not put his name on the ballot for the primary here in New Hampshire. President Joe Biden seeks to end the state's presidential voting tradition. Last week, some DNC members appeared almost excited at the prospect of sanctioning New Hampshire and penalizing any Democrat who comes here to run for the White House. This has real teeth, what this committee has done. I'm proud of that, and I think it will provide that sort of institutional protection um, that you're right, uh, we so need. The primary drama on the Democratic side of the aisle did result in some losses in voter registration. While it wasn't a sea change, 408 Democrats switched their registration to Republican between mid-September and last Friday's deadline. More than 3,500 made the switch from Democrat to undeclared, making them eligible to vote in the GOP primary if they so choose. Only 78 Republicans switched their registration to Democratic. The Secretary of State says even with concerted efforts to move voters into the GOP primary, these changes aren't outside the norm. Given the fact that there are well over 800,000 voters in the state of New Hampshire, five, a movement of 5,000 voters one way or the other uh, really doesn't move the needle that much. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.